of okay. a new dog I adopted last week. Her name is Aww. Daisy. Aww, uh, so we cute. flew her out from Virginia. Daisy is one of 4,000 beagles that were rescued from a facility in Virginia that was shut down by the DOJ. This facility was investigated by PETA and the Humane Society, and they basically shut this facility down. This is uh, in the United States. We only do animal testing on beagles. They're the only dogs that we do animal testing on because they can put up with pain and they have a high tolerance and a high threshold for pain. It's a really awful fact. We need to change that in the United States. The FDA does not provide good guidance on this. So pharma companies, pesticide companies, makeup companies very often test on beagles. So this company, um, you know, that was operating this beagle facility in Virginia was shut down for, um, you know, uh, ethical issues at their facility. And uh, the Humane Society uh, took uh, control. Uh, the company's called Invigo. Their parent company is publicly traded. I think that the fact that we test on these beagles in this country is awful. We adopted Daisy. Uh, there are 4,000 beagles like Daisy available for adoption. I'll put some links in the show notes here. People feel free to go and grab them. Uh, I'm sure there's a long list. The wow. dog is absolutely incredible. I think that it's awful we test on dogs in this country. Um, and I, I think I urge anyone that has influence with the FDA to get them to provide better guidance. This is not the law. It's not required. And they don't provide good guidance. Um, and so a lot of companies de facto and default to testing on beagles when they really don't need to and shouldn't. So Freeberg, let me ask you, yeah. let me ask you a question. I think it's incredible that you adopted the dog. I hope all 4,000 get adopted. Um, how should we do testing? Totally. I, I look, I think that there's a, there's, there's really important ethical lines here and we can debate those. This is a good nuanced conversation. We use mouse models in biology to explore solutions for human disease. We, we use primate models, right? Which means we use primates. We use dogs, we use cats, we use mammals. Um, there, are, there are certain things that are obviously not necessary. We don't need to take beagles and pour tons of Kim Kardashian's newest makeup line in their eyes to see what happens. It's not required by law, and it's not about getting some pharmaceutical drug approved. This is in an area that I'm, I, you know, I'm not gonna get into the debate on, on uh, exploring and resolving kind of pharmaceutical solutions and, and things that can actually treat human disease. Where I'm particularly sensitive to is when it's not needed. And when we're taking these animals and just doing awful things to them, uh, when there's no law that requires it, we're not putting stuff in our bodies. And this isn't about, um, you know, protecting humans. It's really about cover your ass behavior for makeup companies and pesticide companies that they don't need to be doing. And that's right. really what I'm addressing. 3,999 beagles to go. Uh, if you adopt one of these beagles, send us a photo and we'll share it at the end of next week's program. Thanks for letting me say that, guys. It's really no, important I to me. No, I think it's yeah. super important. And how we treat uh, dogs who are connected to humans in a very special way, I think speaks volumes to us as individuals.